He has the power. He has the weapons. And now he has the army. What's next? The world. Miniseries finale, the rise of Cobra Commander to build an army. Cobra Commander makes a deal with a powerful ally that can't be trusted. Now that's it started. Can the Cobra threat ever be stopped? Presented by Skybound Entertainment, distributed by Image Comics, Cobra Commander Volume 1, Issue 5, The Energon Universe. One by one, Mars facilities across the country have been attacked and raided much too to the irritation of Destro, who wishes to know who's responsible. Mercer reports that he's heard rumors of a new player on the scene, and the latest attack on their headquarters wasn't about stealing anything but leaving a message. He brings in the messenger, Ripper, whom Destro recognized as one of the Dreadnoughts. Initially, Destro believes the biker game has betrayed him, but Ripper insists they're victims of the same madman. He then gives Destro a message from the victimizer, an invitation to meet. Destro arrives at the meeting place at an undisclosed small American town with Mercer Ripper and a squad of Mars troopers in tow. However, upon arrival, the town appears to be empty. Suddenly, a small laser turn and springs from the ground, quickly eliminating the troops. Mercer insists he and Destro retreat, but the chopper they arrived in is blown up. They are then greeted by their host, Cobra Commander. Destro orders Mercer to kill the commander, but before he can choke the life from the masked menace, the commander insists that Destro hear why he invited him. Destro reluctantly agrees, much to Mercer and Ripper's chagrin. The commander brings them to an underground lab where Dr. Laszlo Vandermeer, the scientist he rescued from the dreadnoughts and a team of researcher experiments with Energon. The commander introduces Destro to the doctor who whispers a plea to kill him. Cobra Commander reveals that he's been watching the many players across the world, all struggling for money and power and believes they should be united under common leadership. He then unveils one of the experiments they've been working on powering Destro's battle android troopers with Energon. In a demonstration, the supercharged Bat kills dozens of the commander's recruits with ease. Wishing to gain the power of the Energon for himself, Destro agrees to ally with the commander. The commander invites him to join him as he changes into the uniform. Galavius gave him and meets with a collection of his recruits at the town hall. He gives a speech to those in attendance saying that they were once lost like him and that they came here looking for purpose. But he found his purpose and now he will share with all of them for together they are cobra in Cobra La Galabius and Pythona are still reeling from the escape of the mechanical monster. Entering the commander's secret lab, they discover the creature's extraterrestrial origin. Fearing the idea that beings from an entire mechanical world, the antithesis of Cobra La, already on Earth, Galabius decides they must take their war to the stars and launch an organic probe to find their home world. Notes. This issue jumps ahead an undeterred amount of time from the previous issue to account for Cobra Commander's newfound resources. The story also takes place after the events of Duke potentially placing it further in the Energon Universe timeline than any other issue. In a further timeline, shenanigans, the scene in Cobra La takes place after Megatron's escape in the Transformers Energon Universe special story, where this place, Cobra Commander, in the context of the Transformer timeline, remains to be seen. The Mars and R&D facility corporate headquarters destroyed at the start of the comic were previously seen in the issues of Duke. Tees in the photos on Cobra computer are the Crimson Twins, Tomax, Zaman, and the Arashakage Ninja, Storm Shadow, setting up the characters before their debuts in the upcoming Destro and Scarlet series, respectively. Destro references Duke's mention of a robot that turned into a jet, recounting the events of Transformers 2, which Destro learned about in Duke 5. The images of Cybertron, Galobulus, Seas are the same ones we saw back in the first issue. While the small town they operate out of is never named in the issue, it is calls to mind to the town of Springfield, frequently based operation for Cobra and a wide variety of G.I. Joe media. Cobra Commander calls himself a salesman, a reference to his Marvel backstory as a used car salesman. Dr. Vandermeer is a character from the original G.I. Joe animated series, The Mass Device. Cobra Commander finally returns to wearing his classic uniform that he got back in issue one with two notable additions, the Cobra logo and the cape and the staff he would sometimes wear in the original cartoon. Pythona's organic ship is based on a Cobra Lock creature slash vessel that appeared in G.I. Joe the movie. Next, presented by Skybound Entertainment and distributed by Image Comics, Destro, Volume 1, Issue 1 of the Energon Universe.